Hello, hello, and welcome back to another video on this channel. In today's devlog, I want to take care about the underwater world to make it more beautiful, a bit more interesting. So let's don't waste any time and dive right into it. To achieve that, I want to make sure that we have two layers, one layer for the ground and the other layer for the water itself. And therefore, we need to make sure that the water is transparent. Also, we want to make sure that the base color is splitted and the alpha output is rooted to the alpha. And now it looks like this, but we can easily fake it by adding another layer down below, which has the material of a stone. And this would be the outcome, of course, with another color and with a bit more environment stuff like plants or something like that. Now everything we do is just copy and paste this pile of code. Of course, we want to make sure that this is named differently. And of course, I need to clean that way more up. I also added a field to the world sites scriptable object and I choose the stone just for the liquid ground material. And there you go. This is looking a lot better than before also with this kind of wobbling effect right here. But it still feels a bit lifeless because there are no plants in the water now. To test something, I just drag these grass blocks into the water to see if this is looking good and yeah i can really imagine that this will look good if this is randomly spawned in the water and of course is if there is some kind of wobbling effect right here uh, not that they are just as static as now but um i think this can look really really cool so i think i just copy and paste some of these grass blocks in the water. To achieve this, I simply added a little checkbox right here, which is called can be in liquid, and I can turn this to true. And now I can start the game. And you see the map is getting generated with the grass blocks under the water because they can be spawned in the liquid cells. And this is pretty awesome because I simply can switch this to off and now I can restart the game and you see all the water blocks are gone. So I can simply control this with this little check mark right here. But because the underwater world is way too lame, I just want to add some kind of stone uh, with some moss above it to make it a bit more realistic. Of course, the stone will not be a masterpiece of art. <laughs> to be honest, I uh, can't even draw correctly. I think most of my art really, really, really looks looks like trash, to be honest. But I think uh, it is okay when there's... Yeah, I think the look of me trying is that even correct English? <laughs> I don't even know. But uh, you know, this should be a bit more filled with life. Maybe I add some fish later, um, but I don't think that this is the part for now. And I think this is totally fine for now to have some stone with some moss above it. Of course, this should be painted way better. So I think I add some kind of another green right here. There. I think this is fine. And to get this to work, I added another check, which is called only in liquid. There you go. And you see right here, randomly, if this cell is liquid and the world object has the only liquid set to true, so the mark is here checked, then randomly this mossy stone gets created and spawned into the water. Pretty cool. I think there's so much more to do because this is still pretty lifeless, still not that beautiful, but I think we can tackle that in the upcoming weeks. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, then please hit the subscribe button. Please leave a like and also leave a comment down below if you have any suggestions on what I can do in this game. Thanks for watching. We see us in the next video. Bye.